Welcome to my class. Today we will discuss one of the most important paintings of post impressionism, Ancient Storyteller by Amrita Shergit. Now, what is post impressionism? It's a French art movement that developed roughly between 1886 and 1905. And it also emerged as a reaction against impressionism and its concern for the naturalistic depiction of light and color, which means the impressionism gave importance to the natural depiction of light and color, whereas the post-impressionism favored on more symbolic content, formal order and structure. And this movement was led by Paul Zizain. He is known as the father of post-impressionism. Paul Gauguin, Vincent van Gogh, etc. And the term post-impressionism was first used by art critic Roger Fry in 1906. And here, the post-impressionist extended the use of vivid colors, thick application of paint, distinctive brush strokes, and real-life subject matter and were more inclined to emphasize geometric forms. So they gave importance to the ge geometric forms, distort forms for expressive effect, and they use unnatural colors in their composition. So these are the characteristics of uh, post-impressionism. Now about our painter Amrita Shergil. Amanda Shergi has been known as the backbone of modern Indian paintings. Indian painter, she was, born, she was born in Hungary in an Indian Sikh family where her father was a Sikh aristocrat and her mother was a Hungarian musician. She has taken her art training from Florence and then from the world famous Ecole Nationale des Bioc Arts under the direction of Eugene Simon. After working in Europe, she has returned to India in 1934 and started to work on Indian rural scenes. So she started to work on, she gave importance to the Indian rural scenes. And she worked in Shimla, Gorakhpur, Lahore after she returned to India. She was much inspired by the murals of Ajanda, Mughal, Pahari and Rajasthani miniature style and she died at the early age of 28 and she has always been remained a charismatic persona for her advancement behind the selection of theme and color application in more subtle approach in respect of the portrayal of women so she gave importance to the portrayal of women in Amrita Shergil's paintings, a cultural variation can be seen between the two periods of her life. So in her paintings, we can see the two different phases of her life. The first one representing her residence in Europe and the next one after her arrival in India. So these two phases can be seen in her paintings. So this difference has not only been reflected in her paintings, but also reflected in her way of living, way of dressing and all because and she preferred sari than western clothes. She was also fascinated by folk and rural cultural of India than the urban one. So she was more fascinated. She gave importance to the folk culture. She gave importance to rural India. So this is the painting Ancient Storyteller by Amrita Shergil. It was painted in 1940 and here Amrita Shergil combined architecture and figures to create an outstanding image of intimate rural domesticity. Inspired by miniatures, Shergil created a distinctive genre in poems to represent what art historian Gita Kapoor calls a feminine world. So she created a feminine world in her painting. So this is the painting. Let me give you the description of this painting. And this ancient storyteller depicts a scene of domestic life with the children 
sitting around an old man expressively telling stories in the dusk so it's a dusk and it's a household scene i uh, hear in, in this painting the artist depicts an old man who sits in front of three children an old man is sitting in front of three children and he appears to be narrating to them some interesting stories if that is one scene and uh, we can also see an old crouching female figure crouching means a position where the knees are bent and the upper body is brought forward so we can see an old female figure who cooks for the kids and two and behind the scene behind the scene we can see two apparently female figures and they too are also engaged in some course of the house unlike the man and the children so the women are uh, engaged in their works and few flower petals can be seen at the bottom surrounding the woman who is cooking here the painting could also be a depiction of the feminine world so shergi gave importance to the feminine world that is why geeta kapoor calls uh, the paintings of amrita shergis as a feudal or feminine world the painting could also be a depiction of the feminine world as we find the old woman who is engaged in her household chores household works and the man sits in a leisurely manner narrating stories to the children so the man is uh, sitting leisurely and he is narrating stories to the children whereas the woman is uh, cooking for the kids and men here we can see men enjoying a leisurely pace of life could sit down and entertain the children with the stories of their past experience and this women who spend their lifetime grinding and pounding masalas and kneading bread were isolated from the sweet little gatherings and this woman this crouching woman represents the emotional symbolism of post impressionist style she is not just a subject matter but a visual tool conveying shergil's feelings about indian rural women put now let me tell you the use of color in this uh, painting so i told you this is a typical example of post impressionism and here uh, shergil uses a mix of muted and vivid colors revealing the influence of both european and indian elements in her painting so she mixes the european as well as the indian elements in her painting here women are represented as wearing vivid or bold colored fabrics which cover their heads and most of their body now the old man is dressed in a garment of sage green with a white shawl and he is also wearing a turban and here shergil uses oil paint on canvas to form the painting and here we can see the women are given darker complexion and their garments are shades of red such as cherry scarlet and dusky maroon in order to attract the attention of the viewers and now children are dressed in cool tones of blue and gray and here we can also see the color white is given to the building and it creates in order to create a strong sense of contrast and perspective of the painting so these are the characteristics of post impressionist artist here they uses the unnatural colors okay geometric forms of colors distorted forms of images in their painting so this is this use of color in this painting and bright colors are also used on trees and walls in the painting and the clothing of these human figures denotes that they are ordinary people who lead a simple life now the elements of post impressionism in the painting the expressive representation of female figures pensive faces of her subjects intimate portrayal of domestic scenes 
the use of bright red color to highlight the characters dark expressionless faces of the female figure yogi like appearance of the male figure two small leafless branches of plants white colored wall which contrasts to the dark ground scenery the pictorial proportions and compositional solutions in the painting dark toned figures draped in red garments the peculiar combination of architecture and domestic life in a totally different use of picture space the painting is characterized by an exceptional color palette filled with unbridled and bold color so these are some of the elements of post impressionism in the ancient storyteller by amrita shergill hope you understood the painting thank you